Hello everybody, and today is July 11th, 2009, and uh, welcome to Enjoy the Games, where I, Nam, put in my two cents about games. Now today, uh, you might notice that there's actually a little bit of light coming through that window today. And what I'm actually doing is, uh, I'm going to do a review during the daytime. Isn't that crazy? Today we are here to talk about Nintendo games. So, uh, a couple games that I want to talk about today, um, pretty much just two, only because they're really involved and they're both really unique. They're both very different and I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, one of them is called Sasa or Sasa. It's spelled S-A-S-A. -S -A, so I don't know how to pronounce that but uh, that's pretty much what it is. And then the other one is called Milk Nuts um, or Milk and Nuts or Nuts and Milk. I don't know. One of those. But uh, it's a, you know, I think it's called Milk and Nuts. So yes, that might sound perverted but uh, anyway, I don't know how to explain it to you. It's just let me just show you the games. Alright, so, here we go. Okay, this game is called Nuts and Milk. Um, alright, you're not gonna believe me when I tell you, so why don't I just show you? You are that little pink thing. That little pink thing walking on this stuff. This stuff is laddery stuff. I call it laddery stuff. I don't even know why, because you can climb on it. Um, and, uh, but here's the thing, it's not like a hard ladder. You can't jump on it. Um, so it's like a soft ladder and uh, you can jump on the hard ground and basically the object is to collect all the fruit now you might have seen me just pick up a couple pieces of fruit already picked up an apple and a banana object of the game collect all your fruit and then touch your girlfriend that appears in the house in the upper left hand corner so uh, you might not be able to see her right now but just trust me she's there there she is okay. so that's the game can you seriously believe that there's a game where the object of the game is to collect the fruit, touch your girlfriend. Wow, okay. Um, there's one thing about this game that I want to talk about. This is not, oh, this is a bonus stage. So, uh, object of the bonus stage? Yes. Collect all the fruit and touch your girlfriend. Uh, you want to avoid fireballs, so definitely don't get fireballs. Alright. Uh, you might see on the heads up display. There's your score in the upper left, uh, top score is in the middle. Um, there's a number that's under milk, that's actually the number of lives you have. You are actually a milk. So, I don't know, I think, I think if they call you a milk, and it's called nuts and milk, and it's all about touching your girlfriend, it's probably because you're nuts about your girlfriend and you're a milk, so, nuts and milk. Um, Let's see, you also have a bonus amount where it times down, which is kind of like your time, so if you run out of time, if you run out of bonus, you pretty much uh, lose, so it's actually your time, and round number is obviously round number. Now these are springs, the timing on this is very finicky, basically if you didn't practice on jumping on them, then uh, they're very tight, like you can't really, um, you know, get on it very well. It came out in uh, 1983 by Hudson Soft. There is some AI in this game. It's very bad. It's highly predictable because uh, pretty much all of the enemies will take the closest path to you. So uh, it's very predictable. The problem is if you first start playing it for the first time, you actually don't know how predictable it is or how difficult it is to avoid because um, oh yeah if you happen to jump over any of the enemies you'll get a hundred points just for fun I guess um, so you have to get clever and you actually have to use the wraparound of the screen so you know obviously if you move left off the side of the screen you'll appear on the right and vice versa but yeah as you can see um, the enemy does not know about the screen wraparound so you can really exploit that and honestly if you don't you'll probably die a lot because you pretty much have to run away from them that way so yes uh, if you had any doubt this was called nuts and milk nuts milk BAM well, there you have it it is definitely called nuts and milk alright so sometimes the AI is stupid and sometimes it's smart like that See, I totally forgot that they also can grab onto ladders, and it takes the shortest path to you that it can see on the screen. Uh, most of these stages aren't that difficult for any seasoned gamer, because they're mostly, you know, platforming puzzles. Um, and, and the puzzle is really just getting all the stuff, and so it's basically a path optimization problem. 
So anyway, another bonus stage. I'll give you one guess as to what the object is. Oh, that's right! Collect the fruit. Touch your girlfriend. All right, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. Nothing, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. All right, let's just get this over with. Bam, bam, bam. Heart grows three sizes. Yada, yada, yada. It might seem like, you know, you're the Grinch or whatever, but... This stage is kind of annoying because you have to make it over this spring, and it's really hard to land. So, I think how you're supposed to do this is actually wait for this guy to die, run around behind him, jump on the springs this way. Okay, alright, wait for him to die. I guess you can probably just do this. Okay, that's not so bad. Um, just as long as you get the timing on the spring, because remember, all new players who play this game, timing on the spring is very tight, very tight, very narrow margin of error. Okay, so now I gotta get this. Ah, okay, perfect. Alright, now wait for this guy to die. Okay, yes. So AI, highly predictable, highly predictable. Alright, now this is one of the few stages uh, where it actually gets difficult. Um, when I was younger, I didn't really make it past too many stages after this. So, but you gotta time everything perfect, because otherwise you will die. Yeah. So that's, uh, I forgot where these guys spawn. Oh crap. Let's get around this guy. Okay, touch my girlfriend. There we go! Alright, excellent. Now this one is a little bit tricky. Oh, uh, yeah. So the jump distance that you can clear is literally one block. All right, so let's do this without falling. Damn it! Uh, game over, all right. But anyway, so that's pretty much the game.